Hello, today on Photoshop Tutorials, I'm just going to be talking about Adobe Bridge, which comes with Adobe Photoshop CS2 and CS3. Uh, I'm not sure about CS1, but I definitely know CS2 and CS3. So what this program is, is a photo sorting program, a way of keeping all your files in place and able to access them quickly to use in Photoshop. And if you have a digital camera, this program is actually very good if you're a photographer. Um, you can sort all your images and actually rate them depending on what you like. Oops. And uh, to rate your images, you just click on it and say Control 1 for 1 star, Control 2 for 2 stars, Control 3 for 3 stars, and so on. It's actually that simple. To um, compare images, click on the image that you would like to compare and control click on the other image this will bring up the two images and you can zoom in on certain spots and see how they compare with each other and this is a pretty unique feature to bridge there's one more thing quickly about this program and that's the batch rename so as you can see your digital camera usually names the file a random word and number. To change this, simply control click all of the photos you have that you want to rename or click on the file and just right click and say batch rename. This will bring up a new window. and You want to say rename in the same folder. So for your first file name you're probably going to want to put what the pictures were about and for date created you have this text you can just have it uh... you don't need this actually but for number sequence you can start with one and it will keep going so this is what your file is going to look like it's going to be farm underscore two thousand six twelve thirty O O O one, and this is the name, the date, and right here is the picture number. Pretty simple. You just say rename, and all of your pictures are renamed. But it, you can see I have this also in my folder, and it got renamed. So if you have anything in your folder you don't want to rename, you should probably take it out of that folder. But that's simply how to rename your pictures easily. And uh, remember, if you like these tutorials, then you can always hit subscribe. And this has been another Photoshop tutorial.